Non-stop progress. Booster 16 has been moved, signaling that Flight 10 prep is in full swing. What comes next? Meanwhile, SpaceX launched another Falcon 9, marking a major milestone in the rocket's legacy with new records and ambitious targets ahead. And though Axiom 4 is slightly delayed, excitement for the mission remains high. All that and more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Flight 9 wrapped up less than two weeks ago, but with Elon Musk's optimistic post-flight comments, it's clear that Flight 10 is already on the horizon. The first signs of preparation have already begun. A new beach closure schedule has been posted on the city of Starbase Texas website, which is expected to serve as the official source for Starship-related closures once Starbase becomes a city. The dates listed are June 5th as the primary test day and June 6th as the backup, with closures running from 7 in the morning to 7 in the evening both days. Such extended closure windows typically signal major testing at the launch site. And at this point, no prototype is more likely to be involved than B-16, which is expected to support Flight 10. In addition to the posted schedule, physical preparations are visibly underway. On the morning of the 3rd of June, the booster transport stand was moved to the Mega Bay. Later that afternoon, the Mega Bay doors opened to reveal B-16 positioned at the entrance and ready to move. It's likely that after arriving at Mega Bay in late March, B-16 completed its engine installation. By the evening of the 3rd and into the early hours of the 4th, B-16 was transported from the Mega Bay to the launch pad. A few hours after arrival, it was lifted onto the orbital launch mount. The chopsticks were raised and the ship quick disconnect arm was extended, all in preparation for testing. That means we could see the launch site come alive once again in a matter of days. Next up will be a series of static fire tests. B-16 is likely to undergo multiple firings, including a full 33 engine test, followed by a focused test involving one or two central engines to prepare for the landing burn. Notably, SpaceX had planned to attempt a two-engine landing with B-14 during Flight 9, but technical issues prevented it. Once these tests are completed, B-16 will likely return to the Mega Bay for inspections and final integration. Afterward, it will be paired with Ship 36 on the launch pad for the upcoming mission. As for S-36, it recently returned from cryogenic proof testing conducted in late April. Following this, it underwent various installation procedures, including the fitting of its aft flaps in late May. Around the same time, a Raptor vacuum engine was seen arriving at Mega Bay 2, suggesting ongoing engine installation. If all goes smoothly, S-36 will be moved to Massey for static fire testing as early as next week. This timeline is plausible, especially given that S-37 has just completed its cryogenic tests and returned. S-36 is expected to undergo multiple static fires as well, including a single engine ignition to verify the ship's ability to relight its engines in space, a milestone that has eluded SpaceX during the last three Starship flights. These tests are critical to ensuring full engine reliability and performance from launch through re-entry. If testing and integration go as planned, Flight 10 could happen sooner than expected. Musk has publicly estimated a launch window in three to four weeks from Flight 9, placing the potential date in the latter half of June. While ambitious, this goal remains within reach. However, there's still a lot of work to be done. On the booster side, Flight 9 showed substantial progress. The booster completed a successful active flip maneuver and handled the boost back burn better than previous flights. However, one engine failed during the landing burn and the booster ultimately exploded upon impact. This failure appears to have resulted from a steeper landing angle, which placed excess stress on the booster's aft section. The failed engine may also have contributed to the crash. To avoid repeating this, SpaceX will need to conduct thorough testing and inspections to ensure all engines function reliably under flight conditions. The problem in Flight 9 surfaced late in the mission, underscoring the importance of complete end-to-end -end testing. Increasing test difficulty while maintaining reliability will be essential. The ship side presents even greater challenges. During Flight 9, the vehicle successfully achieved orbital ascent, demonstrating improvements in its thermal and structural systems. SpaceX now needs to build on that success. One area requiring immediate attention is the PEZ door mechanism, which failed to deploy the payload as intended. Engineers will need to ensure smoother, more reliable operations for this system in future flights. Engine preparations for in-space reignition and the landing phase must also be addressed. If necessary, underperforming engines may need to be replaced, similar to what was done with S-35. 
The fire suppression and cooling systems will also require upgrades to respond more rapidly to heat-related issues. Key systems like the heat shield and flaps must be maintained meticulously to ensure the vehicle survives re-entry. The aft flap in particular suffered damage in Flight 9 due to loss of control late in the mission. Likewise, the internal fuel tank system needs reinforcement to prevent leaks and pressure anomalies that could compromise flight stability. Beyond the vehicle components, ground systems must also be enhanced. The launch tower and Mechazilla arms must be fully ready to attempt a future catch. One of the most critical support components is the booster quick disconnect, which experienced significant damage during the last mission. Burn marks, melted surfaces, and structural degradation all suggest that repairs and improvements are urgently needed. Given all of this, do you think SpaceX can realistically launch Flight 10 before the end of June? Type yes or no in the comment section down below. Then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's exciting journey to revolutionize spaceflight. Now let's turn our attention to SpaceX's special anniversary mission. At exactly 7.40 p.m. Eastern or 4.40 p.m. Pacific on June 4th, SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket from Space Launch Complex 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The mission carried 27 Starlink satellites into orbit, further expanding SpaceX's growing satellite internet constellation. Shortly after the launch, confirmation came in that all 27 satellites had been successfully deployed. The mission's booster, B-1063, achieved yet another remarkable milestone milestone by landing on the autonomous drone ship Of Course I Still Love You stationed on the Pacific Ocean. This marked the 26th successful landing for B-1063, highlighting the booster's continued reliability and durability. What makes this mission even more special is its timing. It coincided with a major milestone in SpaceX's history, the 15th anniversary of the first Falcon 9 launch. The inaugural mission occurred on the 4th of June 2010 from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. While the initial launch met its mission objectives, the booster did not survive re-entry due to parachute failure. Still, it marked the beginning of what would become one of the most successful rocket programs in history. Reflecting on this, SpaceX posted on X, Falcon 9 lifts off from Pad 4E in California on the 15th anniversary of its first launch. It's astonishing to consider how far SpaceX has come in just 15 years. The Falcon 9, along with the broader Falcon rocket family, has become a cornerstone of the modern space industry known for its reusability, reliability, and rapid launch cadence. This recent mission also achieved several other significant milestones for the company. Notably, it marked SpaceX's 50th Starlink launch of 2025, continuing the company's aggressive efforts to expand global broadband coverage through its satellite network. Perhaps more impressively, the flight was the 500th mission conducted by the Falcon rocket family, which includes the Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy. Reaching 500 flights is an extraordinary accomplishment and a testament to the engineering, innovation, and operational excellence that SpaceX has brought to the industry. Few, if any, other rocket systems in history have come close to achieving this number of missions. Even more notable is the high success rate across these 500 launches. This track record of reliability has made Falcon rockets the preferred choice for commercial customers, government space agencies, and international partners alike. The frequent use of reusable boosters has also set new standards in cost efficiency and launch turnaround times. In fact, SpaceX has demonstrated an average launch cadence of roughly one mission every two days, with some missions taking place just hours apart, a level of operational tempo that no other launch provider currently matches. Looking ahead, SpaceX shows no signs of slowing down. With 170 missions planned for this year alone, the Falcon rocket family continues to serve as the company's primary workhorse, even as attention grows around the development of the next generation Starship system. These recent milestones serve not only as a celebration of past achievements, but also as a foundation for even greater ambitions. As the company continues to push the boundaries of space technology, the Falcon rocket family remains a shining example of how persistence, innovation, and a vision for the future can transform an entire industry. So as we reflect on 15 years of Falcon 9 history and celebrate 500 total Falcon missions, we can only imagine what SpaceX will accomplish next. So stay tuned to see how the company tackles its ambitious goal of 170 launches this year and what new milestones await just over the horizon.
Next, let's move on to the latest updates on the Dragon Axiom 4 mission delay. The next crewed mission to the International Space Station has once again been postponed. Axiom Space recently announced on X that the new target launch date for the Axiom 4 mission is now June 10th at 8.22 a.m. Eastern. The mission will still be launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. However, this time Axiom Space did not provide a specific reason for the delay. This new date marks a two-day slip from the previously scheduled June 8th launch. Notably, June 8th was already a rescheduled date, as the mission was initially planned for the 29th of May. NASA had explained that the original postponement was intended to allow additional time for finalizing mission plans, ensuring spacecraft readiness, and coordinating logistical requirements. Interestingly, the Axiom 4 mission is expected to use a new prototype of the Dragon spacecraft, which could be a factor in the meticulous preparation process. The Axiom 4 mission is shaping up to be a historic milestone in multiple ways. For the first time in history, astronauts from India, Poland, and Hungary will live aboard the ISS. In addition, it is one of the most diverse crews ever assembled for a space mission. The crew includes Peggy Whitson as mission commander. As a former NASA astronaut, Whitson holds the record for the most cumulative time spent in space by an American. She now serves as Axiom Space's Director of Human Spaceflight. Accompanying her are pilot Shubanshu Shukla from India, Mission Specialist Slavitz Uznanski of the European Space Agency from Poland, and Mission Specialist Tibor Kapu from Hungary. Once landed, the crew will travel to the ISS aboard the Dragon spacecraft. They are expected to spend approximately two weeks on the station, during which they will conduct up to 60 scientific experiments. These experiments will not only contribute to global scientific knowledge, but also provide valuable operational experience for future private space station missions. Given the significance of this mission for Axiom Space, international partners, and the broader commercial spaceflight community, every aspect of preparation must be executed with precision. As we await further updates, all eyes remain on this groundbreaking mission and the unique opportunities it presents for space exploration and international collaboration. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.